Hello and welcome back to Fallout, where I have made my way back to the hub, purchased some things, mainly the red excess, uh, got a new armor which has less armor class, 18 instead of 23, but it also comes with slight bit of resistances. I also got myself a sledgehammer, even though I'm not that well like uh, well skilled in um, uh, melee weapons. I'm more an arm, unarmed sort of character right about right now. But yes, we want to go back to the Brotherhood and save. Oh, there's a, actually a caravan here. Interesting. Oh, not there. Let's do world save. At least they used to be, but they just despawned. <laughs> Fine. Okay, so I was told that the... It doesn't say. It's somewhere down south, or the place where I need to go to. And... Let's see. Yeah. No, thank you. Wow, brave dog meat. Okay. Oh, come on, please don't tell me that. And once again, wasting turns, like uh, wasting days. Yeah. You fall from, from a ledge. This actually, I don't think it's down here because... This is the south end of the map. That's the boneyard and it's definitely not there. Did I actually remember after I died, did I remember to pick up the... Thingamy again? The quest? Maybe I didn't. And that's why I can't find anything. But it's not the Boneyard. Boneyard is on the map because I was working for the caravan. Okay, let's talk to you again. Hello? Hello and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. Man, oh, I, I forgot Can't to wait. talk to you after I died. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder and he said that not just... You have to go to the ruins of the Ancient Order. That's south of here. Uh, you've got to go inside and bring back something that proves that you were there. This place is high tech. There's things inside like you've never seen before. Oh, uh, it's also radioactive. <laughs> It'll do it. Yep, I will. So now, where exactly you say south? Hey, you're back. Well, then. Okay, no. Okay. Well, let's head south. Is it now on my map? Yes, the glow. Okay, I was just being dumb. <laughs> I didn't actually accept the quest. Whoopsie. Professionalism. As I keep saying in these videos of mine. Can I... Okay, I'm gonna be really bad at using this. Because I don't really have the skills for it. But what if I were to squish your head? No. Oh, nice dog meat. Wow. Okay, so I may want to just do a target out of range. Two regular body blows until I can actually get some points into melee. Melee weapons, that is. Oh, jeez, dog meat. You're way better than I remembered, huh? 
I think you're too far away to be punched, yes. It said whack, but nothing happened. Squeak! Oh, it did take damage, but... No animations played? Oh, no animations played. Sure. <laughs> okay, well, that's a little bit of experience points. Now, the glow. Please? Oh. Guardsman. Hello. This place smells. Okay, sure. Nice talking to you. Oh, I should have gone left. That's fine. World save again. Keep heading towards the glow. Man, it's been longer than... I thought since I've played this. I've forgotten a lot. Oh. Wow. Mutated Manti. Interesting. I don't usually bump into this either. I say into this either because uh, the thing I wasn't recording when um, I actually bumped into death claws on the world map and I don't think I've never had that happen on me. It was quite a surprise. It was like it was together with some uh, rat scorpions and I didn't know this that one of them was actually a death claw until it was too late. <laughs> A death claw masquerading as a dread scorpion. Now there's a thing. Whack. No. I really need to start putting points into melee weapons. But I'm hoping to f uh, wait until I can actually tack a fourth skill. So I, I'm not doing like... 1% per skill point and it's gonna be 2 and but I also don't remember what level gives you the tag it's probably either 8 or 12 Okay, heading into the glow. And we were told this place is radiated, so right off the bat, I have received a couple large doses of radiation, so pop one of these. To gain radiation resistance, and I'm irradiated, that's fine. Because I have... Um, Okay, uh, how do I use this again? Like so. There we go, tie a rope to go down. But yeah, I can just at the end of the day, once, once I get out of here, I can just spend those right away to clear out the radiation. And our goal is right there, but I don't remember if there's actually anything else I could want from here. There might not be. Oh, are you telling me the one red X isn't working? Let's pop another one. Only 38 red resistance this time around. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. Ooh.
a steam. I'll happily take one. Uh, that's mine. <laughs> Jeez, that actually gave me a scare. Uh, electric shock. I need to disable that first. If I can. Uh oh, you have been poisoned. Is it because I'm way too radiated? Let's actually use one of these. 25 current rad radiation level. That's probably not enough. It's fine, it's fine. So. Can I actually go downstairs? I thought I could. Or rather, I thought I had to. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I might be. Oh, here we go. Motion sensor. Yeah, I'll just sell these. Oh, come on now. Oh, don't drop them. Use them. And this exactly is what we're looking for. And also, I guess that too. I don't know how to use those pass keys. But let's see. Yeah, I got 250 EXP. I believe I am being uh, get scolded for actually tampering with the data, but I can just feign ignorance if, I, if my speed skill is high enough. Power management. Emergency power disable. Because... I believe that allows me to access the elevator. I really don't remember if there's anything there that I would want, but let's go check it out. Uh... So I believe I can now force these doors open. The elevator is inoperable. It seems to need power. I thought I could force these doors open. No. I might be thinking of something completely different. Service needed. Can I actually do this? Is my repair skill high enough? I don't remember if I've ever done this. That does nothing. Okay. So it could also be that I need to science it, but 37 science isn't gonna cut it. I can access it, but that's that's it. Yeah. I don't remember this. Like, I'm actually surprised I remember this game less than I thought I did. Ah, well, let's just leave. That's, that's the goal we came here for. Okay, so first things first, let's leave. Start heading towards the Brotherhood. And once I get out of this, you know, this dreary place. Somewhere that isn't as irradiated. Can I actually go without encounters all the way up to the Brotherhood? That would be amazing. I don't want to stop because this looks amazing though. This is rare. There we go. Okay, so now, how's my... You lost 50 radiation. The poison has left your system. What about the irradiation? That too. Good. Okay, so... Hey, you're back. 
Did you get something? Great. But um, the High Elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. This is great. Hang on while <clears> I open the door. And there we go. 2,000 experience points. And a level up. Now, I could go in. But there is also something else I could do. I'm gonna pop in real quick just in case something goes wrong and like the game glitches out. So, oh whoops. This one. Just to get the checkpoint out, a slash save point here. Okay, and now let's get that level up. Increase our repair to hopefully a hundred. Get this up. Okay. Okay, so there's stuff I could do here, but I... Want to do something else first, and this is gonna be tough. This is tough with a f like uh, ranged character, but I don't know if I can do this with the melee one. I hope I can cheese it somehow. Because really, this is gonna be a super tough fight. Uh, hello, you are stuck in the wall. It would appear. Yes, you are stuck in the wall. That's fine, we'll leave. Mm. Can I actually read this while the scorpions are here? Yes, <laughs> that's kind of funny to me. Okay, so I want to go to the old town, and this is where things get really tricky. I need, I'm, I'm gonna chase this fight if I can, because I wanna enter here. They immediately sh start shooting me, and... I'm gonna... Dogmeat's gonna run in and die, but I can't help that, yeah. Because... These are the... These are the hub gods. I'm gonna hide behind one. I was... I said I was gonna hide behind one. And hope... Yeah, that's the end of dog meat, but I'm gonna hope that they'll misfire. Misfire? I should have done this in the dark, actually. Yes, there we go. So they actually hurt the police officer, so now I can hang back and let these guys... Because these are super tough. Like, see? They just did like 58, uh, 48 damage in a single turn. So... I'll try to... I don't have enough action punch to open the inventory, so I'm just gonna run. Okay, you're melee, so I can sort of deal with you, hopefully. But yeah, this is what I was hoping for. Also, I'm sort of hoping that one of the guards dies, because I can then loot them and hopefully get myself an excellent armor. And yeah, I was mistaken. I said that the one... Uh, I think I said that the one radio would have, like, they were carrying this sort of armor, that it would be the combat armor, but I was entirely mistaken. It's just a, like, you know, metal armor. Combat armor is different. It's actually this green one these guys are wearing.
but also the rough cards should give me lots of loot to sell and would give me some nice guns if I actually play the range character. Like this is probably gonna be the only time I play this game as melee. It, it's, it's fun to try for a video but I, you know. Please don't get up, thank you. So now let's swing because all of these should have increased. Should I just try to squish your head? Bam! Five. I tried. I'm really not good with melee weapons. <laughs> I don't know if I get EXP out of this or at least as much EXP out of this, but this is actually a very tough fight, so I'm happy to do things this way. No, they angered the rest of the guards. I hope they're not coming against me. <laughs> that would suck. Oh, there we go. His back was turned against me and I somehow punched him in the eyes. Well, I got my spike knuckle back. Which I'll probably should use before I get some actual skill points into melee weapons <clears throat> Wow, they really can't get rid of that guard Maybe they should move closer Is it over? Yes, I got 180 experience points because of this one uh, Didn't yeah, none of the gods died, but that's fine. Unfortunately dog meat died, but like I never intended my companions to reach the end of the game alive. It just won't happen. Oh, that's a nice shotgun. That's a really nice shotgun. Hello. And uh, the door is locked. I don't have any. Oh no, I'm not good at lock picking. I don't actually have lock picks with me. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. So lock pick this 16. Yeah, you will not. What if I were to punch the dog? Is that a thing I can do? No, it's not. I don't have any explosives either. Uh. I don't think I can use repair skills on it. Okay, so... I'm gonna need a lockpick for this, aren't I? Okay, so... Hmm... Um...
Interesting. I was not expecting this, to be honest. <laughs> oh man, none of them had a key either. I, I, I need to, maybe someone sells dynamite I could use to blow the door up. I think you sell weaponry. Hello. Gun runners over in the LA boneyard. Yeah. What do you have? You have missiles, but I can't just, you know, throw a missile against the door and hope it would break. Well, I guess I could buy the launcher, but I'm more likely to just hurt myself. Can I grenade the door? Like seriously, can I grenade the door without skill? I know I can use some like dynamite or some such, but I don't have any. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this is because my little boy Loki decided he would come closer to me so, and also lean against the keyboard. Yep. And now he's all tangled up in my microphone cables. <sighs> you are such a baby, but that's okay. Okay, let's try this again. So I'm gonna sell everything like all of this. Oh, I'm gonna actually net some real good money out of this. I could, you know, um, I don't quite have enough. Like the combat armor is super expensive. I kind of want to buy one, but it's like 27,000 over here. So with this 7,000, how much is the rocket launcher? This it's ten thousand. Oh jeez. What if I just buy a pack of grenades? You know? Do you have any other kind of explosives? I don't think you do. This is also a nice pistol. Yeah. Oh ma. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so can't really do much here. Oh, uh, let's buy another grenade. Let's buy all the grenades. I can just sell them afterwards. Uh like this. Seven ten mines worth so 7,071. Seven, yeah, this is good. Okay. I actually have no idea if this will work. Like Fallout 2 allows you to blow up doors with explosives, but they really need like ex explosives, not, not like grenades. Ooh, this might also anger <laughs> the guards. Okay, so close the door. Can I use a grenade on it? That does nothing. I can't throw a grenade. I can't drop grenades. Can I activate a grenade? It just drops it on the ground. It doesn't actually arm it. 
No, it does not. No. Oh, man! I have no way to get through this door unless I find some actual explosives. <laughs> so this is what is what. Oh, no. Actually, there's this gun shop. Did you sell any explosives? I don't think you did. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I, uh, sorry. There we go. <laughs> You only carry grenades. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Looks like I'm not rescuing that poor guy behind the door. <laughs> I don't know how to get through that door. Uh, yeah, so that's a thing. Man. I guess there is a reason why I usually build my character the same way every single time. <laughs> so the one time I don't do that, like I'm in <laughs> huge trouble. You don't carry explosives? No, you don't. Uh, brotherhood stuff is really regulated, so it's pain. I don't think you can actually just buy buy stuff there. You just have to earn, a, like, a, do a thing to earn a, you know, a license of permission to get an item or something. Oh, jeez. Well, that's a thing that has currently happened. So I think that's about it for this episode. And in the next one, let's go see if the boneyard has explosives for us. <laughs> to get them through a single stupid wooden door. <laughs> that for some reason I can't break with my 10 strength. <laughs> Uh, see you all in the next episode.